Hi teachers, in this video we are going to be walking through the student side of Rosetta Stone. I am signed in as a test student, so this is not a real student. You are welcome to get into this account as well and play around and try any of the things in here. You are not going to hurt anything at all. Um, once you have logged in with the credentials, you're going to click Launch Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone should launch automatically, although if students haven't given permission for their microphone, it will ask them to allow permission for their microphone. Once students are in here, they'll notice that certain things have been grayed out, that they cannot move on until they finish certain aspects of their lesson. They can also click the show menu and you can see all of the different units that students will complete in the progress of this course. Now, we can set students for all five levels of um, US or American English. However, it may be easiest if a student is only given one level at a time, as clearly there is enough in one level to keep them occupied. If you click on extended learning, there are, in addition, stories in here as well. and they can access a wide variety of stories to re-listen and speak your new language. We're gonna take a look at the learn section first and then we're going to come back to stories. If they get any notifications about Flash, know that that will be corrected before December as students will no longer be able to access Flash and Rosetta Stone is aware of this. So we're going to go ahead and click start And then the, you want to select the voice that best describes your voice. At this point, I'm going to select adult female, but obviously the kids will select child. It will need to make sure that your microphone is up and running. So we're going to go ahead and begin. One, two, three, four, five. Hello. 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 You'll notice I didn't even need to say anything. A girl. A boy. A boy. Select the image that matches the word spoken in the text. A boy. A girl. The girl is eating. The girl is drinking. The boy is drinking. The boy is eating. At any point, the they can re listen to things as well. A girl. A girl. A girl. A boy. A girl. Uh, bye. A boy. A boy. So you'll notice that it does correct them if they need to, and then it the will keep their drinking. progress across the bottom. Students down at the bottom can see the total incorrect, skipped, clearly I got that wrong, and then they can skip over an activity completely, but a it will woman. mark it as skipped. A man. So at this point, we're going a to man. go into stories. And when we go into stories, we're going to, um, Click child friendly. All of these are definitely appropriate for students. However, the child friendly ones are geared towards younger students. We're going to read Maria and Rob, the cat in the tree. We'll click begin. One, two, three, four, five. 
and we'll click continue. So they can read the passage. They can listen to the passage. The cat in the tree. A girl is reading. She has a dog. The dog is sleeping. The thing I like about the reading here and the listening is it is not that computerized voice. There are intonations and inflections as they are reading. Now I get the chance to read. Notice that it has made this a shorter selection so that I am not scrolling down forever. The cat in the tree. A girl is reading. She has a dog. The dog is sleeping. The grass is green. The sky is blue. There is a red car. A man is driving the car. Who is he? There's a woman in the car. There's a boy in the car. Who are they? Now they are walking to the red house. The woman has keys. The house has no chairs. It has no tables and it has no beds. So notice that after they read, it will show where a pause was detected. So this is something that students and you can reflect upon in terms of how their reading is looking. I can try again, or then I can go on to the next page and read that next page. When I'm done, I can also learn more about the audio companion. And I can see a little bit more about what it has to offer. So we're going to head back to the stories. And at this point, we're going to pause and we're going to log in as the teacher in another video so that we can take a look at what data the teacher will be able to see for the student.